Hi everyone, this is Aiden Pinto. Uh, welcome to my channel. This is the most awaited video I wanted to make it earlier. I couldn't get a time to make it. So this is about public transportation in Canada. Uh, I mean in Thunderway, Canada. So yes, so let's talk about it. Let's talk about the buses. Uh, buses are available here. Like uh, most of the bus timing starts from 6 a.m. and it will be there till 11 p.m. And yes, so basically, if you are a student, uh, you get a bus pass. So whenever you pay your fees, they usually charge you for the bus pass too. And uh, you have an option if you don't need a bus pass and you have your own vehicle or you have your friends. Uh, usually, people don't pay for it. And um, I believe it was two hundred eight dollars uh, this year for me. Um, so I get it for eight months. Uh, so I can go n number of times. I just have to show my ID. So it's mentioned there if you are paid for the bus pass, it's already uh, it, it will be colored and uh, uh, the bus icon will be there. And uh, so you can just show it to the driver when you board the bus. That's the most useful part, as I could say, as a student, uh, because you you have your bus pass. You can you can go anywhere in Thun inside Thunder Bay. Um, because that's cheaper so 208 dollars for eight months it's pretty cheap you can go n number of times um, if i say if i don't have a bus pass and i have to go through a bus so usually a ticket will cost you three dollars uh, you go uh, when you board the bus usually you show your id to the driver uh, that you have a bus pass if not you have to pay them three dollars and get the ticket uh, you can also take tickets for 10 rides or like for a monthly pass or for an annual for a senior and um, Kids below 12 years of age, uh, they do not uh, need a bus ticket. That's what it mentioned in the website. So how do you know the bus timings? So usually if you're from Confederation College or Lakehead University, um, towards your entrance of the college or university, there will be a chart listed uh, where the timings of the bus or the bus number, the routes they take, everything is mentioned. Usually there will be a chart. Uh, if not, you can use your Google Maps, which is uh, accurate almost accurate uh, or else there's another app called as next uh, c next lift dot ca uh, so even that uh, it shows the bus number you, you just have to put uh, where you want to board the bus from and where you want to reach so it says the bus number which route it goes uh, you you can even live track the buses where it is right now and uh, when it will reach to your destination uh, where you're boarding the bus so you can plan accordingly because it's really useful uh, during the winter summer you can just go like this but winter you cannot even with your all your gears you cannot stay for a longer time outside so it's one of the useful part when you're boarding a bus um, to have the app and look into it where the bus is at what is the time and where it is uh, currently because sometimes the bus may run late or even come early and you if you have the app you can just check through it and uh, you know you can get an idea like when to come out of the house so another thing about the bus uh, here it is it's not that crowded like uh, if i say uh, from indian point of view it's usually crowded and there's a conductor who gives you a ticket so he's this no known such as a conductor but uh, there's a bus driver who you just have to go towards uh, you have to enter into the front door uh, and he'll be asking you for the ID or like if you have the ticket so if you don't have the ticket you have to buy it uh, or else you just have to show the ID uh, and he'll say okay and uh, especially during uh, the summer uh, you might have your bikes or it's called as cycles in India so you can you can get that so the best part is like you know you get your cycles or bikes uh, you can you can keep there are only two options like you can keep maximum of two cycles or bikes uh, in front of the uh, bus uh, so there's an option provided which you can you know lock your cycle in front of the bus uh, so you can go till the destination the bus goes and then you can use your bike to reach your uh, proper destination every five or ten minutes the buses will be there uh, from the waterfront to the city hall that's the one route i have most often traveled and i have realized that there are a lot of buses over there uh, in that route uh, compared to the other route so um, usually if you want to stop the bus you usually have it wired on the right above the window so you just have to press it down so the bus driver will come to know that you want to get down at the next stop or else there's a button uh, which says stop you have to just press that to get down and usually here uh, when I came here I saw this uh, thing a good thing that 
people usually thank the driver for you know for the ride uh, so when they get down from the bus usually they thank you so uh, other mode of transport would be using a app called as u ride so it's similar to the way we have it in uh, india if i say for example um, like you you know uber rides or ola so usually you use the app uh, u ride app and uh, you know you book the tic- uh, i mean book the ride uh, based on your destination and the time you fix the time uh, as a student i find it expensive because um, it's expensive <laughs> if you go in a bus it's cost you it usually cost you like three dollars but a uh, ride might cost like twenty dollars so it is expensive if i if i say from a student point of view uh, so that's one option that's available so when i came first time that's what i used uh, when i uh, landed in uh, thunder bay airport uh, so u ride is the app that i used and uh, i reached safely so the other option would be there are other taxi uh, you know services uh, like i think that's diamond taxi and other like local uh, services uh you can use that to to get a ride so usually uh when do a student use a ride uh whenever there's no option of buses so like i said uh, the buses won't be there on uh, after 11 pm uh, or else it's a it's a winter and you know you have to buy a grocery and groceries usually you buy as a student you will buy it in a bulk you try to manage it for a Two to three weeks, so it will be a lot. So it's it's not going to be easy to carry everything um, and go in a bus. So usually take a ride. So that time you might use these uh, these rides, like uh, like I said, uh, the local rides or like even uh, the U ride. Uh, so another option that I could uh, give you as a student or like you know as a professional who's going for the work, and uh, if you have a shift at night and you don't have the option of buses or you don't have the ride. uh there are whatsapp groups like um, local rides uh, it's called as local rides because it's carpooling group where um, if i am going for a work and uh, uh, you know i'm i'm coming back from the work and i'm going towards a direction and um, i can put it on the group saying that i'm going towards this direction so if anyone needs a ride we can do a carpooling so uh, instead of paying uh, you know for a ride like 20 dollars you might have to pay like 8 or 10 dollars which which is considered like comparatively cheap it helps the <laughs> rider who who's driving the car who's going towards a direction with some income or uh, you know for the fuel i could say and uh, it also helps the other person who's looking for a ride uh, where he usually pays like 20 dollars uh, he's going to pay 8 dollars so Uh, it's really helpful because i was doing a job where uh, there were no buses from uh, you know arthur street direction after 11 pm and um, if i had done the rides you ride uh, it usually cost me like 20 dollars every time so if i'm working there for 5 days it's 100 bucks for a week so it's damn expensive so suppose if you have something like this who is like is going just to to a direction and you're going to pay him for the fuel um, it will come up to a $50 or $40 per week and uh, that's comparatively cheaper than you know spending $20 at one once uh, so that's uh, i can provide you the link so it's it's not like you know they're doing a business or something but it's mainly like if a person is going towards a direction they usually give you the ride or if someone is closer and he wants to he or she wants to help you out they usually will say like okay i can give you a ride i can help you out some people are there who are nicer who doesn't even charge you for that there are there were people who have helped me out uh, when i couldn't find a ride and they you know say okay i'll gonna come and they give the ride so that's how it works so that was it that was all about public transportation in thunder bay so i hope i answered all your questions uh, if there is something that i missed out and you have a doubt like will it do i want to speak about it you can just leave it on my comment section and i'll get back to you or i'll make another vlog after looking into the comments uh, like i did in the previous one so based on your comments i can make another vlog and explain it better so that you'll get an idea about it uh, i see a lot of uh, people watching my videos leaving a comment uh telling that my videos are informative and uh, i'm saying something about the place which they are gonna come uh, and they are anxious about it so yes i see a lot of people commenting on it but uh, yet to subscribe so please go and subscribe uh, and for the 398 subscribers who are already subscribed and uh, helping me and motivating me to get 
better and make more videos thank you so much uh, please uh, support keep supporting me and uh, i'll do better and get more videos about thunder bay and canada